Welcome and thanks for joining the Clark Planetarium. This is a 360 degree video, meaning that you can change your view by panning the video on your smartphone or laptop. In a previous 360 dome video with the Clark Planetarium, we talked about liquid water in our solar system and found out that water is all over the place. But water comes in different forms, and a lot of places in the solar system are too cold for liquid water. So today, we're going to explore some of the places that have water ice. Mercury and the moon look very similar, and they have a lot in common as well. They both have a lot of craters, are smaller than Earth, and have no atmospheres. These are not places scientists initially thought we could find water ice. Think about Mercury. It is the closest planet to the sun. It seems like it would be way too hot for ice on its surface. Also, the fact that it has no atmosphere and low gravity makes it likely that any water on Mercury's surface would just evaporate into space. But Mercury has a trick up its sleeve. Unlike Earth, Mercury's axis is not tilted with respect to its orbit. Mercury has a lot of craters. Because its axis has no tilt, the very bottoms of these craters near the poles, no matter what time of year, are permanently in shadow. This constant darkness allows for water ice to exist in these craters. The same thing is happening with the moon. So the moon has ice in its polar craters as well. While places close to the sun can have cold temperatures in the shadows, Places farther out, like the gas giant planets or the Kuiper Belt, can be cold everywhere. So there are places in our solar system with way more ice than what can be found on Mercury or the Moon or Earth. Other moons, like Jupiter's moon Europa, are completely covered in ice. Europa has water ice sheets all over its surface that is estimated to be 10 to 15 miles deep on average. That's a lot of ice. Have you ever wondered why Saturn's rings can be easy to spot even though they are so thin? It's because of ice. Most of the chunks and particles in Saturn's rings are made of water ice, making them very reflective, so that the rings are visible through even a small telescope on Earth's surface. The frigid region beyond Neptune's orbit is home to dwarf planets, comets, and other icy bodies. These are all part of a belt of objects called the Kuiper Belt, where you can find a lot of ice. Pluto is a famous dwarf planet orbiting in the Kuiper Belt. While much of its surface is covered in frozen methane and nitrogen, there are areas of water ice. For methane and nitrogen to freeze, it has to be very cold. It is around negative 387 degrees Fahrenheit. It even has a heart-shaped glacier that is a depression filled mostly with this frozen nitrogen. Below this frozen glacier is a layer of water ice. Pluto also has at least two large mountains that might be cryovolcanoes. But on such a cold world, volcanoes don't spew lava like here on Earth. Can you guess what erupts out of them instead? Scientists theorize that they spew slushy water ice. Ice volcanoes are incredibly cool, but another form of ice in our solar system also puts on a spectacular show, one that we can even occasionally see from Earth. I'm talking about ice on comets. Comets have elongated, oval-shaped orbits. Most comets follow orbits that take them into the outer solar system and many way out in the Kuiper Belt or farther. Then they swing in around the sun, getting a lot closer to the sun's heat for a short time. They are made up of a lot of ice and dust, leading some to call them dirty snowballs. When they get close to the sun, the heat turns the ice into gas, creating a cloud around the core, known as the coma. Radiation from the sun also pushes dust particles away from the core and coma, creating a tail. Although comets are usually only around 10 miles in diameter, their comae can be tens of thousands of miles across. And comets' tails can reach millions, and on rare occasions, hundreds of millions of miles long. While most comets are so far away, they can only be seen in telescopes, a few will pass close enough to our planet, 
making for a spectacular show visible here from Earth, a few times per century. All this exciting stuff, and we haven't even scratched the surface on places with water ice in our solar system. Our solar system is a cold, cold place filled with a lot of ice. So we're lucky that we live in a place that is just the right distance from the sun. We have less ice than some moons and dwarf planets, so we can enjoy swimming in our liquid water. But we also have more ice than poor Mercury and the moon, so we can enjoy sledding hills, cold drinks, and cute pictures of penguins. <laughs>